Hello everyone, on today's DTS vs. Command, we're going to be taking a look at using the A10C to uh, do a little bit of high altitude blinking, which is uh, kind of fun, especially with uh, laser guided bombs, but in this case, we're going to be using JDAMs, and you'll kind of see why. So anyway, our story so far, uh, Las Vegas over here, um, at the time of the date, it's January 1st, 2000, it's 9 o'clock in the morning, it's a huge battle over the city of Las Vegas as enraged gamblers who lost everything, stole things from Nellis Air Force Base, and uh, took to the streets in the sky. Uh, we found out a little later on the entire thing was actually carefully orchestrated so that they could uh, get free passes to uh, go view the Hoover Dam. What they're actually doing at the Hoover Dam, we're not 100% sure with, but our intelligence is uh, pretty good here. So here's the situation. Let me zoom in a little bit. We've discovered, thanks to some uh, UAV imagery, that a very strong concentration of the enraged gamblers have concentrated themselves around the Hoover Dam. Now, this is going to be a problem immediately because if anything bad happens to that dam, you can imagine the collateral damage is going to be insane. I mean, this lake will literally drain out. So we have to be tremendously careful here. Our UAV did a great job of spotting two fixed SAM sites, an SA-8 on either side, which are pretty nasty little SAM sites. Um, Again, even though it's an older technology, I've actually found myself gotten caught in short by these things a lot of times just because the engagement time is so fast. Obviously, we have some structures. We also spotted a large convoy of trucks making their way to the area, which we're going to have to try to engage and uh, do something about without doing any damage to the infrastructure here. So when I hear precision, I think of laser-guided weapons and the JDAMs as well. So in this case, we're going to be mostly JDAMs and DCS. We'll probably try it out also with uh, some LGBs as well. So anyway, here's our A-10Cs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and slowly and carefully approach the target area at an altitude of 6,000 feet. 26,000 feet, that's kind of an interesting selection of altitude. Why not 20? Why not 30,000? Well, we could go higher. I will say that. That would definitely make things look easier for us. The reason we're at 26,000 feet is because if you know the operational limitations of an SA-8, go ahead and call up the database real quick. Incident facility. SA-8. Tunnel. Take a look at the limitations. This particular weapon here, click on it real quickly, has a target altitude of up to 20,000 feet above ground level. Now we know in this particular area that ground level alternates pretty much depending on where you are, anywhere from 5,000 feet down to like, you know, a couple thousand feet. But we know that this guy is sitting here at a whopping 1,460 feet, and we know that us sitting way, way up here is at 3,500 feet. So as long as we can stay over that 20,000 foot mark, the SA-8 can't eat touch us, which is exactly what we want to do. I tried this scenario a couple different ways, using low altitude strikes, and DCS, high altitude, and this seems to be the way to go. Now, if there's something like an SA-2 or an SA-8 uh, or even an SA-4, which we don't get in DCS, that could do an awful number to us. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, designate some targets here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tell it to hold fire. Because if I don't do that, it's going to basically blah, 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 all over the sky and cause all sorts of damage to the Hoover Dam. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and specifically designate using the manual target option some of those targets that I'm interested in. Well, this is actually really cool in DCS also if you haven't gotten a chance to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and click this guy right here. I'm going to go ahead and deploy two. I'm going to click this guy over here. Go ahead and deploy two. So now I only have four bombs left. Now, of course, all these are very, very interesting targets, but none of these targets we actually want to hit right now. We're, oh, there's a helipad there. Interesting. I wonder if that an interesting target to hit as well, if you ask me. So um, I'm going to conserve my ammunition here. And once we've just dealt with those SAM sites, we can come to a little bit lower of an altitude and uh, do the rest, so to speak. Now the interesting thing is an SA-8 can engage guided weapons, but can it hit something as small as a Mark 82? Find out. Off they go. Now right now that SAM crew is sitting there going, uh, do we just take the shot anyway? I mean, just because it says that it's only 20,000 feet, can we take it? Remember an A-10 has a very, very good jamming system and a very, very good countermeasure system. At that altitude, it's not exactly going to be able to maneuver, but at that altitude, so far away from the target, it's going to make a command-guided missile have a very interesting time trying to target it. Alrighty here. Oh, we're getting a warning. It looks like there's a missile up in the air. That's probably one of the missiles trying to target. Uh, tracking. Tracking towards... Nope. Keep in mind, these mountains are extremely tall right here, so it's going to be a big problem for us in DCS as well. Yep, none of those were able to actually hit. 
But the SA-8 crew, like I said, is now going to be sitting there scrambling, trying to do something to engage those weapons. I'm sure in a minute they're going to pop up a couple more. Oh, one of them got actually struck. There's another one that's kind of a wide hit. More than two, I guess. Let's see how this plays out in DCS. Oh, one of them actually got shot down. That's it for this guy. Much more important to engage those, because remember, we can use guns against the rest of the ground targets here. Try to keep that in the back of our head. All right. Set them up right here. I'm going to go reduce the speed to a loiter. What I don't want them to do is duck under 26,000 feet, because then the SA-8s basically get a free hit. It looks like we've only crippled this one. We didn't completely destroy it. So um, we're probably going to have to get a little bit more technical when we get over there later. Speed up time a little bit here. See what happens this time. Looks like the SA-8 has run out of missiles. Oh, that one got it. Remember, there's a mountain in the way here. It's got to be a big problem for us in DCS, as you'll see. Creamed. All right. Tempted to give this guy another one just in case, but I'm sure we destroyed his radar. All right, let's go ahead and reduce our altitude to medium altitude. Need to be able to take a pretty good look around this area using the TGP. It does a pretty good job. Here, we're looking for any mobile unit, anything that's basically a target of opportunity. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we crippled that particular unit. We probably landed just shy. And you'll see us. So, oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Oh, uh, what is it, though? If I can't identify it, I feel kind of bad about attacking it. Because for all we know, this is the visitor center parking lot or something like that. I'm guessing this is not, though. Let's take a closer look. Mind of those altitude. There we go. What do we got? We got some vehicles and we got some vehicles. All right. I'm going to go ahead and order the A-10s on their own. Strike those units. It looks like we have some more vehicles in opposite sides of the bridge also. We haven't gotten any triple A yet, but we'll see kind of what happens. I'm going to go ahead and let them do it. Swinging around, swinging around. Oh, he's gone wide. He needs to give himself a little bit more space. Here he goes. Oh, I didn't even see that. Check that out. He fired two more JDAMs before I even realized. Please don't hit the bridge. Please. Oh, whew. Good. They're targeting those trucks. Oh, man, look at how close of a shot this is on the dam. Whoa. Yeah, that would have caused some collateral damage on the visitor center, I'm pretty sure. And that other shot did a pretty good job. Bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. So we're going to go ahead and let's see what we got left. We have plenty of uh, 30 millimeter rounds. So, whoa, something just shot something at us. What's that? Oh, no! The SA-8 survived. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, we'll have to see what happens at DCS. All right, here we are over in DCS. Bit of a tragedy as far as uh, what happened over in command. The SA-8 actually lived in that particular case, and um, unfortunately that kind of thing happens more often than you'd probably expect. Some of the casualties during the Gulf War, I believe, were actually classic cases of, oh, it wasn't as broken as we thought. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen to us here. So anyway, scenario is going to be exactly the same. We have us, we have our little teammate there. I've got a 664, he's got 610. And uh, we're basically sitting up here on paused right now. I'm going to unpause in a second. Intelligence is really good and has provided us with waypoints that we can actually use for targeting the JDAMs. Now, one of the issues we're going to have is the fact because there's a mountain in the way, if I just let the JDAMs rip at an altitude that you'd normally expect to release them. Keep in mind, there's a pretty hefty wind here, by the way, so I probably will miss the first couple times. If I just let it rip, what's going to happen is it'll fly right into the side of the ground because it doesn't know there's something between it and the target. So we have to actually let go of the JDAM at a very, very steep angle. That's exactly what I mean when I do it. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, unpause. Wait, my automatic pilot will quickly. I want to make sure it's at the heading. And let's get going. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and set my waypoint, my steer point for our location number two. Let's see here. Uh, there. Let me flip to this guy real quick. There we go. So if I do seer point one, that's one of the SA-8s. You see it? See him? He's so cute. Not believe the zoom on this thing. And you can see his buddy is all the way over here. Although it looks like we don't have as good of a lock on that guy. We can clean that lock up before we actually do anything. I'm already getting some warnings here. We'll flip that on auto so I don't have to pay too much attention to it. Um, of course we have the bridge itself. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change my view up here. So 
down a little. Let's see what we can see. That's the substation right there. To my right. Um, yep, there's the parked vehicles right there, I'm pretty sure. Look. Yep, those are those parked vehicles that look to be a target. Crossing over here. Uh, oh, this. Oh, yep, looks like they've set up an outpost. Surprise me, trying to block access there. And it looks like we have a convoy of trucks as well. Alright, let's go ahead and flip back to our sand buddy here. Let's go ahead and do this all by the way with the Hotas. It's definitely the clear way. Alright, looks good. Let's do the day. So we're going to use our GBU 31s today. We go to Master Mode CCRP. I'm going to go ahead and select. Let's go to main. And I'm actually going to Warning, center myself autopilot. like this between the two targets. I'm actually not thrilled with that shot because so it's not very clean hit from our weapon. Go ahead and reduce that real quickly. So I'm actually going to improve that shot. I'm pretty sure the other one's a little better. Yeah, that was good. Let's go to the first one. That's definitely going to have to be a little bit. Let's go ahead and put point mode. Get my target. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to release one. Then we're going to release the other one really, really quickly afterwards, after switching targets. So I've got this guy locked up. He's looking right at me. Probably going, is that little speck in the sky? And they're sitting there working it out with their radar and everything like that. Remember, we have to release that one late. Release it early is probably just going to eat it right in the side of the mountain. All right, we're just about in range. All right, we're in range. That's it. So um, we're going to at least wait until we get to about 9 o'clock now. Engages at this altitude. It's like a pretty steep standby. One away. Always press and hold. I'm at the steer point. One away. Ha ha ha! Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here to my automatic pilot and I'm flip it to altitude. It's gonna sound a little weird, but it actually makes a lot of sense. Now, what I'm gonna do too, since I'm already looking down there, I'm gonna start looking around for some other targets of opportunity. Alright. I noticed a very large truck to go. Yeah, that looks good. Pretty sure we can probably put them right there. Aw, oh, I was just out of range. Oh well. Uh, we'll come back around again. Set this to Warning, autopilot. autopilot. This could be my next target of interest. Oh, we got one. And yeah, we got the other! Ho 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 ho! Take that command. Just didn't know how to shoot. Let's go ahead and tell my teammate now to go ahead and start doing the thing. Each crowd targets, please. Now, if you remember in man, we basically uh, came back around again. And uh, our problem in that case is the fact that uh, there's SA 8 lift, although the thing exploded. Technically, we're cheating here because we've got a warning that told us that we hit the SA 8 pretty hard, so I'm pretty sure the thing is a pretty wreck right now. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, level this sucker back out. Myself a little, woo. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of distance. That's kind of a fun trick, by the way. You put the thing on altitude hold, and then basically you just kind of let it circle, and then um, you take it off of altitude hold to actually do the hit itself. You can see I'm marking pretty bad there. Yeah, you can actually see the two fires pretty clearly on both sides. Looks like we got through the trucks. I'm curious as to what the team is. We'll find out in just a second. Apparently, he's having a good time. Oh no, that was from secondary explosions for my first hit. Man, this is a deadly weapon. Uh, one technique I've seen people use is uh, do several marks. I'm actually going to use a little bit of that technique. Set that point low up. Around, keep in mind, I'm still at like 27,000 feet here, I'm pretty sure. I can, I can afford to lose a little bit of altitude here. Man, this thing is amazing. Talk about a precision platform. This is just incredible. Gonna come back around. You can see by the little uh, marking there. Definitely lose altitude. I wonder how things are going back in Vegas right now. Mark you. Agree with you. I'm actually in range of fire now. Level off. One away. Let's lock this guy up right here. One away. Let's lock this guy up right here. Really hope I'm not doing too much damage. One away. 
Okay, so um, we've just deployed six of our JDAMs. I'm gonna go ahead and activate the autopilot again. Slowly circle. Let's go ahead and add some down here. I'm interested in those little outposts. Alright, so if I did everything correctly, hopefully the JDAMs are coming in at a steep enough angle to actually be able to engage these guys successfully. Go ahead and put that appointment on. It's interesting that it came You always see this when you watch like old footers play the golf board and stuff like that. I don't want to lose that. Lane, where's the other two? Look at him go! Whoa! That is not fair. <laughs> I could be doing this at night too. Oh, that was not fair at all. Okay, so I got one GBU left. Let's see, did anybody actually survive all that? Ah, uh, he's burning pretty bad. Take a look around. That was not cool. So we have those two little outposts they put on office. <laughs> look at the crater! Wait, wait a minute, what's that? Hey! Somebody's got a VIP helicopter down there. Be a shame or something. Alright, we declared him as a target. We could technically actually release on this guy right now, but um, I don't feel necessary. I should say, I don't feel that that's necessary. Go ahead and spin around. I always wondered if you could do like a hip shot with the JDAM, where you like do like an over the shoulder like you can with some missiles. But honestly, it's like. Seriously. Like, Look around here. I wonder how my teammates do it. Got a good day there, Mr. Teammate. Fires. Yeah, we probably would have achieved this exact same result in command had we actually crippled the SA-8 properly. But, um, not too annoying. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Love nice and smoothly. One away. Alright, now it's time for the LG. Myself rotating slowly here. Alright, we're gonna get this guy all nice and set up before we get to do Profile. Let's see here. It's going to be a single. We only have one. Goes until fusing. Uh, let's change my settings here. Auto laser on. Um, I always like 10 seconds in the auto laser. There we go. Set, set, set. Auto laser on. Projection and rack number. I'm going to save that profile. Profile is still active. Back to this page. Sounds like my teammate's going to do something. Not a little bit. Let's see if we can deal with one of those moving trucks that we saw earlier. Just kind of see if we can. I remember seeing them on the road here. But we've done so much damage so far. To the actual dam itself. I don't want to drop a bomb on the dam. That would be terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I should have changed what I'm doing here. It's like they did that. Gotcha. That's it. Back to point mode. There he goes. We are now a target of interest for me. We could actually technically release now, but I'm not actually going to. I'm going to swing back around the other way. I almost kind of want to hit the guy next to him, but there's always that freak chance that you're going to kind of catch both of them in one blast. And it is a GP, yeah, so it's definitely going to hit pretty hard. I'm going to shut the automatic pilot up. Swing around. Target area. This is just not fair. <laughs> not fair at all. I always feel bad for those poor guys down there. Almost, almost. We still have rockets and guns. We're like, we're just getting warmed up today. I don't mind losing a little bit of altitude because I'm going to have to anyway use my gun later. Laser guide bombs, so I don't have to release perfectly. One away. 
set my autopilot on. All right. So now all I have to do is make sure this stays on. Auto laser is on, so we should be able to well, be successful in that regard. Oh shoot! I lost them. There we go. Oh, and I got lasers on. Precision guided weapons FTW. Alright, let's go ahead and switch our master mode to CCIP. Let's go ahead and grab our rockets. And let's go ahead and uh, cook off that automatic pilot. Do a nice little spiral to the left here. Let's uh, go engage him. You're just being very good. Good idea to go ahead and cage your TGP so you don't make the gimbal flip as you do a tight turn. So. Identify him. Is that little bunker? Pull up, sure pull up. Altitude, altitude. Oh, it's a road outpost. Oh. We're like pretty much out of those. Altitude, altitude. I'm going to sit my weight point back. We have three now. My buddy? Yeah, it's my buddy. I run out of rockets halfway through my run here. Let's switch over the gun. Which I know I'm using the damage. Pull up, pull up. Let's pull up, that was it. Pull up. Altitude, altitude. 